She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here then welcome in general just quickly before we jump into today's video if you do like this video then don't forget to hit me with a big thumbs up and of course if you haven't already and you want to join my little family here on youtube then don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below okay so today i have come to you with a video that i feel will be so helpful to so many girls especially like girls like myself that are considered plus size but if you are someone that isn't plus size Stop, don't go anywhere because this video can still be helpful to you as well. So as you can probably already tell by the title, we're gonna be talking about all things poses, angles, so pretty much how to look slimmer in your photos and how to get that perfect shot. But sometimes it is a little challenging to get that perfect shot, to get that shot that makes you look that little bit slimmer. Don't worry, your girl is here to save the day. So me being plus size myself, I have learned a few tips and tricks along the way to appear slimmer in my photos, especially when I'm not feeling the best that day, or I feel like my chin's too big, or I feel like my thighs look a bit too big that day. Well. Don't worry, I have found some perfect techniques that will help you along the way. And after today's video, you are gonna be a complete pro at making yourself look slimmer in those Instagram photos or those Facebook photos or just those photos on your camera roll. So the first thing I wanna talk about in this video today is angles. Angles are so important when it comes to taking a photo. If the photo is taken on the wrong angle, it can potentially make you look bigger, it can make you look smaller, wider, it can even make you look longer. So I have found the first big no-no in taking a photo when you are plus size is front on. When the camera is in front of you and is front on, there is no angles, which means you can't really disguise those flaws that you might wanna hide. Okay, so I'll put the photos up on the screen so you can see the difference between a front on shot and an angled shot. As you can probably see already, the complete difference between the front on and the angle. The front on definitely shows everything. You can tell that my chin hangs lower. You can tell my eyes are a bit more droopier. My cheeks look a little bit more puffier. And then you look at the angled shot. All of a sudden, my chin is gone. My cheeks look more defined and my eyes don't look as droopy. So obviously with a front on, you've got your phone completely in front of you. But what you wanna actually do is instead of having the phone completely in front of you, you wanna lift it a centimeter to two centimeters higher and you wanna tilt the phone from being front on to forward. So instead of having the phone in front of you, it's about a centimeter to two centimeters up and you tilt the phone forward. That angle will automatically hide some of those flaws that you don't want to see. Me personally, I hate my chin. I hate when my chin looks bigger in photos. So doing that angle definitely does the trick with hiding my double chin and allowing me to look slimmer in my photos. Another angle tip is when you're taking the photo, you can also take it on an angle. So instead of having the phone in front of you, have the phone on an angle. What you do want to avoid is you want to avoid having the camera down low. By that I mean not only do you not want to have it in front of you, you don't want to have it any lower than you either. Let me show you a photo I took when the camera was not in front of me, but just below me. As you can probably already tell, when I took the photo that was just below me, my double chin was really highlighted. And that is exactly what I want to hide when I take my photos. So I always avoid holding the phone below me. So let's talk about a pose and an angle for when you're standing up. Again, what you want to avoid is facing straight on with the camera. What you want to do is turn slightly on an angle, put one leg ahead and do a little bend in your knee. And that will also help you here slimmer. Let me show you an example so you know exactly what I'm talking about. for you would be to remember to always have your body slightly on an angle and that way you always appear slimmer in the camera. Another little tip slash trick I want to show you, when you hold your hands on your hips, try not to hold them exactly on your hips. So what you want to do is you want to hold your hands as close into your stomach when you're holding your hands on your hips and this will also help you appear slimmer. I'm going to insert some clips here. This 
next tip won't be for everyone, but don't leave me just yet. Give it a chance and it might actually work for you. So the next tip I have is actually a makeup item. What I would recommend and what I've personally learnt myself being plus size is that my cheeks are normally quite puffy and my face is normally quite round. What I mean by that, because I am plus size, which again, there is nothing wrong with that, embrace it. So what I like to do is I like to give my face and my photos the illusion of a skinnier face. And you might be thinking, okay, how do you do that? Well, what I do is I like to contour my face. Now, as you might already be able to tell, I have contoured my face today. So as you can see, I have contoured here. I've contoured my nose, the other side of my face, my head, and underneath my chin. Now, of course, of course, I'm not telling you to go and do this. If you don't want to do it, that's completely fine. This is just personally what I like to do and what I have learned along the way when it comes to taking photos. So I'm going to insert a photo of when I have not done my contour and I'm going to insert a photo of when I have done my contour so you can see the before and after. The photo that doesn't have the contour, my face looks quite round, my cheeks look quite puffy, and I don't really have a whole lot of definition in my face. The definition in the face is really, really good when it comes to taking a photo or when you put filters over your photo. Having that contour will really chisel you out define your face and give the photo the illusion of a slimmer face. So the product I like to use when I contour my face is this product right here. This is the Hula Benefit product. But keep in mind, there are so many different brands that do contouring products. If you didn't want to do the whole shabam of all the contouring, that's fine. But if you are a beginner and you did just want to start out, my recommendation would definitely be doing your cheeks and underneath your jaw. Okay guys, so we're coming to the end of this video now, but just before I go, I want to share my last tip with you guys that I feel like you guys will really benefit from. It's so easy, you literally do nothing, but it will also make your photos so much better. And what's that tip you might ask? That would be lighting. So when you take a photo and you incorporate all those other tips and tricks that I showed you earlier on in the video, I cannot stress enough how important it is to have good lighting. Lighting basically makes the photo. Lighting is the quality of the photo between a good photo and a bad photo. There, I said it straight out. You've got bad lighting, your photo is not going to look as good as if it would if you had good lighting. Now let me show you an example. So as I'm talking to you guys today, I'm currently sitting in front of a huge window and and I've got my ring light on. I'm not saying go out and buy yourself a ring light. Natural lighting is actually the best lighting when it comes to photos or videos. But for me, when I'm filming my videos, I like that extra light to help me out. Let me show you what my video looks like when I don't have my ring light on and I'm using just the window. So that's it guys. That's what I look like when I don't have the ring light and I'm relying solely on this window in front of me. As you can tell, it's not awful. But it definitely looks different from when I had my ring light on, doesn't it? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the difference between a photo of when I'm standing at the window, no ring light, just natural lighting, compared to when I take a photo with not so good lighting. And let me show you the difference on how this tip can really change your photo and making you look appear slimmer in your photos. So I'll pop the photos here on the screen so you can see the difference. Instantly, you can see the difference between having a photo that was in natural light compared to a photo that didn't have good lighting. In the photo where I had the good lighting, I did not use my ring light. It was literally just me standing in front of the window and incorporating all those little tips and tricks that I showed you earlier on in the video. Whereas the photo that didn't have the good lighting, you can instantly see that the quality of the photo went down straight away. It's not as eye-catching and my flaws were more highlighted in the photo. I mean, obviously, do the photo that makes you happy, but from my experience, I would highly recommend get a photo with good quality in good lighting and incorporate those little tips and tricks I showed you earlier on. And I can guarantee your photos will look 10 times better. You will definitely look slimmer and you'll be so much more confident in your photos. Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap the video up here. I really hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something today. Again, if you did like this video, I would really appreciate it if you hit me with a big thumbs up. And if you want to stay tuned for more videos, I post weekly. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. If you have any other video suggestions that you'd like to see, then definitely let me know in the comments below. I hope these little tips and tricks really do help you. So within saying that, I'm going to love you and leave you and hopefully I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!